Everyone has secrets about themselves that they don't want to reveal to the rest of the world. After what my mother had just told me, I knew I was going to be adding another huge secret to my list. In one single moment, my whole life changed. I remember the feeling as though it was yesterday. My mind and body froze in shock. The world around me seemed detached somehow, like I had been cut off from the rest of reality. It was December 4th, and I had been sitting in my mom's car when it happened. One moment, everything was normal. The next, I was in a whole new world. One that I wanted no part of. Before the news hit me, I had been hanging out at my father's place. My mother had driven there and had called for me to join her outside. At the time, I thought it was weird that she didn't just come into the house to see me. Alarm bells started ringing as I went out to the car. I could tell by the expression on her face that she was going to tell me something that I didn't want to hear. Your doctor just called, she said, staring into my eyes. Do you know what she said? My heart started pounding. I had a feeling that I knew, but I didn't want to say it, so I shook my head. You're pregnant. That simple sentence totally changed my life. Everything came crumbling down. Teenage girls aren't supposed to worry about parenthood. They're supposed to worry about things like grades or which parties to go to on the weekend. In that one eternal moment, there was too much for me to take in. The implications of what lay ahead flooded my mind all at once. My entire world had been shaken to the core, and I didn't know how to react. Hey babe, still up for a movie tonight? This was a text message that distracted me from the monumental news my mother had just given me. Polly was my boyfriend at the time, and there was no doubting that he was the father. Reading his simple message shook me from my frozen state. Dread poured in. How was he going to react when I told him? He was a nice guy, but we'd had plenty of arguments in the past. He had a bit of a temper. He might go into shock and say nothing at all, or he might fly off the handle. Whatever his reaction would be, I knew that he wouldn't be prepared for fatherhood. I suddenly became angry. This was something that only an adult should experience. Someone who has done things in their life and is ready for a family. I wanted to explore the world, to go on adventures. I had spent most of my life in school, and my plans for afterwards were to go overseas and then go to university. None of that would happen now. I had anchored myself to another life. All my friends would be able to go off and have fun while I was stuck in the one place, taking care of a baby I didn't even want. My mother and my doctor were the only other people who knew about my secret. I didn't tell my father, and I didn't tell Polly or any of my friends. One long week went by, and my thoughts were totally preoccupied with the life growing inside me. I loved Polly, and I didn't want to lose him, but this seemed like the kind of thing that might drive him out of my life forever. Like me, he was too young to take on such a huge responsibility, but he at least had the option of walking away. He didn't have to carry this problem around inside him. I had thought about abortion, but it just didn't feel right. I definitely didn't want to have a baby, but I also didn't want to get rid of it. My mind was torn. I didn't know what to do. Every option seemed like a bad one to choose. My dad would freak, there was no doubt about that. But I knew that I would have to tell him eventually. I could only conceal the truth for so long. My size would eventually give me away. A life and a sorrowful secret were growing inside me. It was only a matter of time before they would both come out. But then they didn't. I was right at the point where I had psyched myself up to tell my father and Polly about the baby. And a mere day before I was ready to do so, I suffered a miscarriage. I had woken up in the middle of the night and was bleeding everywhere. I went to the doctor and she told me what was happening. Once more, my mind fell apart 
and I froze. I had spent so much time worrying about my situation, but now that it was over, I felt even worse. For days, I had played out what my future might be like in my head. I pictured as many different scenarios as I could, but not once had I actually thought about losing the baby before it had even been born. My problems were solved, but in a way that I didn't want them to be. I had resigned myself to the life of a loving mother, and just when I was prepared to take on the challenge, it totally disappeared. None of my friends or family ever found out about my ongoing nightmare. As far as everyone else knew, I had just been going through an unexplained phase of depression. Polly broke up with me a few weeks after I had the miscarriage. He claimed that it was because my personality had changed and I'd become too miserable to be around. I certainly couldn't argue with him there. I know now that if I had told him about my situation from the very beginning, the journey would have been a lot easier. His reaction might have been hard to deal with at first, but at least he would have been able to understand what I was going through. The months that followed were agonizing. I fell into a deep state of sorrow. I started missing school most days, laying at home in bed, too depressed to get up and do anything. I ended up going to a mental hospital in March. I stayed for the whole month and turned 16 in the middle of my stay, and I soon started blaming myself for the loss of my baby. It felt as though by not wanting to have it, I had caused the whole miscarriage. August came and I realized that I would have been having my baby that month. That was one of the most painful realizations throughout that year. When December returned, I was reminded again. On the night of December 4th, I cried all night. It all came back to me in a flood of emotions. One thing I realized from the whole affair was that it's better to be open about things. Pushing the truth deep down inside myself did nothing to help my situation. It only provided an agonizing prolonging of the inevitable. I have since grown from this experience as a person. At the time, I was ashamed of what I'd done. But I know now that teen pregnancy is a reality and that teenagers who become pregnant shouldn't be shunned. It can happen to any family, so everyone should be willing to show support rather than judgment. Before I became pregnant, I always bottled things up inside, rarely expressing what I truly thought and felt. Now, I am a lot more open, and I have a greater sense of freedom. Not a day goes by that I don't think about the baby that I never had. <laughs>